the songs in Rat Mouth that you play, what's your favorite one to play on guitar? Uh, on guitar, one of my favorite songs to actually play is probably Catheter. Now, what's so special about that song to you? Uh, just the, the rhythm pattern is really cool, and uh, the chord progression is just a lot of fun. For those of them that have never seen uh, Rat Mouth before, why don't you show them some of that? Well, it's really simple. It's just D, C, and then B on the guitar. So we play in D standard, so drop everything down one note stack. But it's a... And then the, verse, then the chorus part is basically G and A sharp. And then you go back to the So the whole chorus together would be a And then because of the way it ends, it ends on the And then it segues perfectly straight back into the verse. So it'd be like a song just kind of loops together really well. In the uh, early days of Rat Mouth, you and Staten were were the writers in the band, and until you got your drummer, you guys were the main writers. Um, when you first started, what was the first song that you and Staten actually wrote together? Uh, it was actually one called After Breath, which we don't play anymore. Okay. Because, uh, we didn't really have a reason, we just kind of got, just kind of got, kind of grew out of it. Because I remember hearing you guys play that uh, in the front room, low key, low volume and all that. Just, you know, wor working it out, more almost on an acoustic set. Yeah. And it was a really cool song done acoustically too. Um, I think that was one of the first pieces you wrote on bass. That was one of them, yeah. Uh, uh, Another one that we wrote kind of together that we actually recorded on our own phone uh, to send to the guy we had playing drums for us. Uh, it was called Are You Sad? But there's only one recording of it, and I doubt it even exists anymore. So it was <laughs> That's too like bad. Six years ago, we recorded it, and uh, the guy standing was living with him, Tim Weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, he was staying, he was living with him, and we were jamming in his basement, and we kind of came up with it. Okay. And who was the drummer you sent that to? Oh, uh, that was after we. Uh, it was after we parted with this way before we parted ways with our original drummer and got Mitch who if you go on PDX Punks interview a lot of our videos from uh, like our first reunion show at uh, TARDIS room uh, he was with us there and then he was also with us at uh, Hard Rock PDX I remember the first place I seen you guys play was the Battle Barn in Battleground which I believe was probably your first live your first live show, wasn't it? Uh, it was my first live show at all, and it was also the band's first show too. Yeah, that was that was quite the night. I mean, Staten really kind of really tore that up. That was awesome to see. Okay, uh, give us something on the guitar. Your last riff out of here, and then we'll call it a day. All right. So one that we're still working on that's not finished yet. We don't even have a title for it. But I, I wrote it because I was listening to a lot of Heart Attack Band at the time. And it was just like a riff that really reminded me of that band. So it goes like this. And that's Lex Tipton from the band Ratmouth.